Moving forward with uh, DOS protections, there are new URL protection rules and these are used to protect your origin from excessive requests based on the acceptable request rate that you can define. You can think about using these rules um, to protect compute-heavy URLs or API endpoints from highly distributed application layer DDoS attacks. So to set up a URL protection rule, you can click on the ellipses and then click on manage URL protection. First thing you'll notice is uh, you can click on the plus sign and then you will see the template with all of the details that you will need to enter. So first with the name, um, of the rule, I'm going to select test and then you have the option to add a description if needed. Continue, you can continue filling out the details on the template. So the bypass section in this case, if there are specific clients or that you need to exclude, you can add that via a previously created client or network place in this case and select the preferred uh, option here. Um, you could also do this via request uh, header. Uh, so you can select from the available list of headers and then whether it should have a match or exist condition and then the header value. Moving on, on the resources uh, section, you will specify if there is a single host name, path or API endpoint, or even multiple resources that should be taken into consideration and should be counted together. So I'm just going to keep it this way and add the hosting. Well, we can use the existing hosting that is here and then perhaps add a path example. And then uh, when you continue filling out details on the allow request section, you can set the maximum allow request to your origin. So the idea here is that um, requests that will start to get denied if this threshold is exceeded. And you can use it in combination with the intelligent load shedding to minimize the impact uh, to legitimate users in this case. Because this feature, what it's going to do is that it, it will start denying the requests more likely to be malicious, such as those coming from bots or Tor exit nodes or even proxies that are being tracked by Akamai. So when the request rate is at a percentage of hits per second closer to the limit that you have indicated here uh, above, um, so in this case, your maximum will be uh, your origin can handle is 100 requests per second. So when requests to your origin reach uh, 70 requests per second, the intelligent load shedding in this case will kick in. So after making your necessary changes to the rule, you can save it and then you can go ahead and deploy on staging um, and uh, production. And just to give you a little bit uh, of details about this type of uh, requests or actually control. Moving forward with uh, DOS protections, there are new URL protection rules 
And these are rules that are used to protect your origin from excessive requests based on the acceptable request rate that you define or can define. And you can think about using these rules to protect compute heavy URLs, API endpoints from highly distributed application layer DDoS attacks. So to set up a URL protection rule, basically just go to the ellipsis sign and click on manage URL protection. We're going to click on the plus sign and you will see the template that you will need to fill out. First thing, you will have to name your rule. Um, in this case, I'm just going to select test. You have the option to add a description if needed. And uh, if there are specific clients that you want to exclude, you can do that either via a previously created client or network list and then just select it from your list. Or you could do that as well via a request header and um, select from the list of header options that we have and whether you should have a, either a match or exist criteria and then the header value in this case. Moving forward on the resources section, you will specify if there is a single host name, path or API endpoint or even multiple resources that should be taken into consideration and be counted together. So I'm just going to keep it uh, with the host name and select the one that already shows here and add a path name. Um, and then you can continue filling out your template. Um, on the allowed request section, you can set the maximum allowed request rate to your origin. In this case, as an example, I'm going to set it a uh, 100. And uh, so the idea here is that the request will start to get denied if this threshold is exceeded. Um, and you can actually use this in combination with the intelligent load shed shedding feature to minimize the impact to legitimate users because this feature, what it's going to do is that it will start denying uh, the requests that are more likely to be malicious. So those, for example, coming from bots or Tor exit nodes or proxies that are being tracked by Akamai. So when the request rate is at a percentage or actually hits per second as well, closer to the limit that you indicated above, then um, in, in this case, uh, the maximum for this example that our origin can handle is 100 requests per second. So when the request to your origin actually reached the 70 requests per second, then the intelligent load shedding will kick in. After this, you can save your rule changes. And in this case, uh, you can select which action you want to apply, whether, whether it's monitor or deny, and then um, make sure you activate your security changes on staging first and then production.